All right, Tim, what do we got next? Next up, we've got Acer Palmatum Winter Orange. From one orange to another, we've got you covered. If you want orange in spring, we got you covered. If you want orange in the winter, guys, this thing has incredible winter interest. It's one of my favorites to pair with your classic Sangukaku because you truly get a distinctive orange coloration on the bark on this one. Now, right now, they're going to be a little bit greener going into fall, so don't expect them to be as intense on the bark. Get this one out in the ground. The bark is going to light up your winter display with intense shades of bright orange, distinctly different than that of Benikawa, Sangukaku, Gold Digger, and many others. You're going to love what this one does. This one's going to work zone six through nine and really just give you something really special, especially in the winter. Yeah, I fell in love with this tree when I started seeing it in those winter months. You see this, and it is so distinctively orange, it stands out. You pair this with a Bihu and something like a Sir Damon or a Sangukaku, and you're gonna have three distinctive colors in that winter landscape that'll look very similar during the spring and the summer and the fall, but then when the leaves drop, you've got very distinctive bark in your winter landscape. Great golden yellow in the fall, chartreuse green spring. The golden yellow in the fall can be ordained with kind of splashes of red and orange in there a little bit. Really showy plant. I've had a little bit of pink tint to this one in the early spring too, which is nice. But really, I love it best when it's out of leaf. It's that spark of color in the winter garden. It really gives us something that kind of keeps the garden going into those winter months when everything's kind of boring and drab. It kind of takes gardening, you know, more seasons for you, especially as a maple collector. I think you're going to love this one, especially for the shades it brings. Yeah, this one will grow about a foot of growth per year, typically reaching about 10 feet in height in 10 years. Makes a good mid-sized tree that can really just add that extra spark of color. As, uh, as mentioned with several other coral barks, very heat tolerant. This one does great in sun, so you can put it in a sunnier spot. Uh, going to avoid that zone 5 typically for this one, but it's very durable. Zone 6 through 9, and it's going to be a tree that can handle a good bit more sun. I recommend putting it somewhere where you have a little backdrop, either conifers or you know a lighter colored building or shed or your home because you're really going to be able to play that color off there for your photography and see that distinctive orange in those winter months. 